my statement, I'd like to have a moment of silence and acknowledgement for the victims of the ghost ship fire tragedy and families who are undoubtedly going through a difficult uh, time, um, regardless of where we stood and as far as Max Harris's involvement in that, um, our hearts really have gone out for them. We know this has not been an easy process and uh, we certainly keep them in our prayers. This isn't a time for us to talk about the two years that my innocent young client has spent in jail. Uh, I think this is a time to thank the community, thank all of the community for their tremendous outpouring of support for Max Harris throughout this process. I want to thank the jury, even the jurors that didn't uh, continue to deliberate along with everybody else, everybody quite heroically put their lives on hold, worked diligently uh, to come to a verdict, and we are eternally grateful for the verdict that came to for Max Harris. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people to thank. There's at least two dozen people that volunteered on our legal team to help. Too many names to mention, but Alameda County Public Defender's Office, San Francisco County Public Defender's Office, are two organizations that we owe a tremendous debt to as well for their assistance. Finally, we want to call on the city of Oakland and Alameda County to use this as an opportunity to clean house, to become accountable, to recognize the tremendous duty they have to the citizens of these communities to do their job, to do it well, to protect, to serve, to be accountable, and to have the courage that when something goes wrong, to step forward and say, you know what, we made a mistake, even if there are 36 people who died. The community needs that from the city of Oakland. The community cannot be safe until we get accountable leadership in the city and in the county. And that's been not the biggest tragedy, but next to the loss of lives and the tremendous impact on everybody who lost loved ones, that's been the biggest tragedy here. It is not one Oakland city official has stepped forward and said, this is how we're going to fix it. This is how we're going to make this community better. This is what we did wrong. Not one city official had the courage to get up on the witness stand and tell the truth. It was just very, very sad. And this isn't a time to celebrate for Max Harris uh, because this community is sick. This community is sick because the leadership is sick. And we need reform. And we need a change. And that's our challenge to the leaders here in this city. If you care about the city, you have pride in your integrity, to do something and be honest about it. Max, uh, Curtis, Max had It's going to start with a nice vegan meal that's not served by Santa Rita Jail, and then we'll take it from there. What well, did Max say to you once he found out the, the verdict? What were his first responses and reactions? Um, he tried to stop me from crying. And, uh, you know, he was emotional, and uh, we were all emotional, and he didn't really say much. Curtis, for the family members, something that you want to say to them and what you First, I want to say I'm sorry as somebody who's lost a child. I understand the pain, and I know that they likely will never be able to find peace with what happened, and that I apologize that if anything that we did and blamed them. I was always under the belief that Max Harris was innocent, and I did what I had to do to get him home. And our hearts are with those families and uh, everybody who's been victimized by this tragedy. I'm going to turn this over to my co-counsel, Tyler Smith, to make a statement. You know, none of this ever would have happened in the first place if the income inequality injustice with respect to the 
income inequality and the housing crisis weren't as bad, wasn't permitted to get as bad as it has gotten in the Bay Area and in Oakland in the last few years. These artists were living in this warehouse because they didn't have too many other options. They were, they were going to be on the street otherwise. They were living there, in essence, out of necessity. And there were many other warehouses in Oakland very similar uh, as the Ghost Ship Warehouse. And the reason they're there is because of the housing crisis that we're facing. So uh, I hope that the Oakland City, that the leaders of the city of Oakland, uh, Mayor Schaaf uh, and others, take real uh, measurable steps to address this issue uh, first and foremost. So I echo, I echo my colleagues' comments that change and reform really needs to happen. That said, we're incredibly uh, sorrowful. We always have been very sorrowful um, for the families. It's an incredible loss that they suffered. This is something that you know we've been a little bit hamstrung from saying to the media while the trial was going on, while the jury was deliberating. Um, but now that they've reached a verdict, we can really uh, let them know how truly sorry and sad for them that we are. Max is incredibly sorry and sad for them. Uh, he's always expressed his remorse, his wish that he could have done something different to save someone that died that way. We're incredibly grateful to all the members of the jury, all of the alternates, um, every juror that stood there, that sat there through these six months, was incredibly gracious to give all of their time and undivided attention, and it was. Uh, it, was, it, it took a lot of hard work for them to, to get to this, but you know, they listened to all of the evidence very carefully. So I really commend all of them. They did a fantastic job, and we're very grateful that they were able to come to the not guilty verdict. What happened with Max? Is she going to be released? We don't have any details of that, and we just we're not at liberty to discuss that. Sure, it's good to be on the podium. So is it the plan now? I understand it's yeah. Immediately, in a bureaucratic sense, we don't know what that means. So we don't know when he's going to be released. Uh, we don't know where he's going to be released from. So we don't want to make too many comments uh, regarding that. Um, we're just we can speculate at this point. I expect he'll be out today, but I just don't. You know, we can't get any answers. Um, the, the sheriff's department is, is never really responsible for releasing him, so you'd have to direct your questions to him. How long has he been incarcerated for? Almost two and a half years. Two and a half, but was it like December? Six months after the fire, so it was about, about May. May or June. Um, James Will Gaiman's going to make a statement. It's been an honor fighting for an innocent, brilliant artist who never should have been charged in the first place, who had seemingly unlimited amounts of government resources and a government machine here for proving his guilt, despite all of the facts showing his innocence, and doing so to pursue their own political agenda. And I would also just like to echo um, the statements of my colleagues regarding the enormous amount of support that Max Harris had from family and from friends and people who became aware of the injustice of him being charged in the first place and who voiced their concerns and voiced their support. They have made a concrete difference in the case by keeping Max Harris hopeful, knowing that he's been supporting and he has a great support group through all of those nights in Santa Rita where he was enduring so much pain and fear and doubt and also for us our, our sleepless nights working in the case the amount of morale that they've given us and thank you for the jury for being diligent um, and I'll conclude with that thank you yes. and I guess uh, one entity I forgot to thank was all of the members of the press who were persistent, who were sometimes uh, treated like they were less than welcome. Um, we really appreciated the fact that you were aggressive and willing to cover aspects of this case and bring aspects of this case to the community's attention. And 
think the community really, really should not take for granted uh, everything that the press did uh, as far as advancing justice in this case. Thank you all. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. Why do you think that they acquitted Max and Hong? Uh, I think that that decision accurately reflects exactly what happened. Huh? No, no, the fact that Max was acquitted is clear from the evidence he should have never been charged. And reasonable people can disagree about Derek Omena's role. That's never been, um, you know, obscured by anything. Reasonable people will, will disagree about Derek Omena's role. You know, if they want to try Derek Omena, they need to charge the owners of this building. If they want a fair trial, if they want to get a verdict, put the owners of this building in the defense chair. But for whatever political connections that they have, they managed to keep themselves out of the defendant chair. And so until they put the owners of this building in the defendant chair, along with Mr. Almeida, they're going to keep getting in this trial. Are you going to? Now that the, the trial is under the trial, um, can you comment on the jury misconduct? No. Under the agora. That's good.